Well, if we become more aware of language, look at the word well. As a noun, as an object, it's a source of water. You know, can you grow anything without water? Necessity of life. And the word wellness. A fullness of life. To be well. Is all well with you? Is it? Fountains of living water springing up unto life eternal. A well springing up inside you. Well, 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 what the have we here? <laughs> Interesting for, uh, turn of phrase, isn't it? Water, wish. To will and to want. To be in the woods. And how useful is wood? free material on the surface of the planet for man to use to build and to make to even float across the water on even to keep warm with to burn but what are the word want? If you didn't have wants, you wouldn't move. You would not have known life. How then could you have come to life eternal? Your wants are your greatest blessing. Wow. How about the word wow? It's an explosion of realization, isn't it? If you didn't realize things, if you couldn't visualize, you couldn't think, well, you wouldn't even be, would you? What about the word to would? Would you want to? Would you be? Would it be? What an amazing signature or introduction to the infinite possibilities of God, this would be, would happen. The very foundation of logic, isn't it? This premise plus this premise, then you would get this. It's a foundation of creation. Is this just wishful thinking? I tell you, the wish come true is the essence of the fairy story. And it is the stories that bring us to life eternal. Well, well, well. What? Have we here? It's said by, was it Manon? I'm not sure. The, a great sage of the past. If you know my language, and I think his language was Sanskrit, then you know my God. Wow. 